He's shacking some of the phone lines right now. But first of all, let me speak to Zuba. Zuba, Zuba is former uh, Obwasi MC. Zuba joins the conversation as well. Zuba, good morning. It's been a while. Trust you well. Yeah, yeah David, I'm doing well. How about you? I'm well as well. Uh, Zuba, let's hear you. Uh, uh, the, the Minister Chief of has been super lenient on the chief you are everything. He should be arrested and handed over to the police. How do you go and backfill a Westland and say that you are using that uh, to deal with the flooding problem? You are compounding the problem, brother. Because wetlands at the residual points where when it rains, the rains go to take a rest before it starts its own natural distribution. So once you put sand on, on, on a wetland, what you are doing is that you are creating much more surface. If it mixes with water and the gas, it becomes hard. And the water will run quick and go and cause more havoc. How do you go and do anything in any municipal assembly without authorization? There are laws in this country. And I think that the municipal chief executive of Asuka has been too lenient with him. You go and you go and win sand. You need permit for the Minerals Commission to even win sand in any part of Ghana. You don't have that one. And then you go and win sand under pylon. And you say you are using danger to save lives. How, how, how can you use data to save life? How do All you right. do that? Zuba, thanks very much. Uh, Ishak is also on the line. Uh, good morning, Ishak. Hello, Ishak. Hello. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Ishak. Let's see. Um, I, you know, all in all, Nana has very good intention. But uh, this law about uh, that the lawyer just read, I think it, it has become an impediment on a lot of people who have the will to help their communities. I quite remember when the colleagues decided to fix the uh, Trebom Road. And they were asked to go and see highway and then they uh, give them the money to do. Why is it that we cannot look at the law, uh, the highway authority, providing expertise, supervising the work? But if the money have to be given to them, that is where the, the problem is. So I think that next time, let us look at that law again by making it such that maybe the assembly, the expertise in the assembly will supervise the work for it to be done. But giving them the money to go and do it, I think, I think it's a problem. But all in all, I think Nana has a very good intention that the assembly could have uh, uh, brought him, uh, discussed with him for things to, to be clearer. Because the assembly, the, the, the DC, the MC, he's running away. I hear what, you. Well, he's not running away. No, nobody's running away. <laughs> nobody's running away. Ben, good morning and welcome. Good morning, sir. Let's hear you, boss. Yeah, I'm calling from Atunsu. I stay at Kui, but we have thought at Hineni. So, now me call the dear, but now we need to go Hineni for the air. Hey, no. Now me say government. Mama, come and say you cry. Say, you cry, cry. No. Or you know, come and go and change. But hey, I hear Atunsu Kui. The dear, me tell no. I G P Johnson. We go for the air. We got this. Now to now, we only have seven five. Have that at the back of your mind. Bafo, good morning and welcome, Bafo. Bafo, good morning. Let's hear you, please. Yeah, good morning, David. A very good friend, Bafo. Long time no see. Let me hear you. Yeah, I'm good. David, you see, we always hide behind bureaucracies and laws and we prevent the right thing to be done. This is a chief who is worried about problems within his community. And throughout the conversation, he's been telling you, he says, I'm a lay person. And that is why he went to the assembly. You know the laws. You know that when there is flooding, uh, dredging or whatever has to be done in a certain way. Did you follow up to, with the chief to go to the community to find out what can be done about the problem? You just declined his request and sat in your office. And so when the problem persists, he will try to go ahead and find a solution the way he knows how. And that's okay, how come we have this problem. Carlo. And you are blaming him. You should blame yourself. You see, this is what happened. This is not the first instance. I have received a number of people who want to fix problems within their community. Even people who want to donate money. The amount of money they will quote, eh? And the kind of bureaucracies they put you in your way, you will stop it. In my own area where I stay, there was a man who wanted to fix the road at that time. 
the kind of trouble he had to go through, he said, enough. I will not fix it. I will use the money to buy a 4x4. Four four. And he stayed somewhere. So we, we are not solving the problems. We are not fixing the road. We are not doing anything. And you will complain. Bafo, thank and you complain. very much. Bafo, also, 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 the, also on the lines right now, I have um, the MCE for Oferukrum, Honorable Kwame Yenchi. Kwame, good morning. Good morning, Uncle Dev. Hey, I'm going to meet you. Uh, thank you for the opportunity and good morning to your listeners. I've been listening to the program and I think it's good you gave them the opportunity to speak. At least their right to hearing is good. Now Nana has spoken, the Asukwa MCE has spoken, and I think that uh, as uh, the Asukwa MCE said, let's separate the issues. This is a clear case of Nana winning sun to fill a wet land. I mean, if there are flooding, there is flooding and you want to solve the problem, you don't compound it by filling the wet area. No, that is not it. Secondly, as the MCE said, we all experience that. No MC in his right senses will go and arrest anybody for attempting to fix a road. So I think the attempt by Nana to hide behind the, fi the, 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 the fixing of the road is something else. If he wants to fix the road, like the MC said, he should go, they will allow him. But the... The, the feeling of the wetland is, is a worse offense. And for me, as Honorable Zuba said, uh, the earlier he stops talking about that, the better. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Honorable Kwame and there. We'll pick, we'll pick two more calls and then we'll call it a day. We'll have a editorial meeting or progress meeting and then see if we'll continue on Monday or thereabout. And then we'll have Akonyasa join us. Because I spoke to him yesterday. He said he'll join us next week. George, good morning and welcome. Good morning, David. How are you? I am well, George. I trust you're well too, sir. Thank you, David. David, nothing is too late. The chief is having good in for his people. So he and the assembly must come together and fix the problem. They should stop fixing, uh, I mean, fighting each other. David, there are some laws that are tying the hands of citizens trying to help this, I mean, country. So, David, if I, I want to help a needy person, do I have to go to the social welfare? No. David, we have seen people in this country destroying forests without having any, I mean, papers. People are destroying forests in search of gold without going through any, I mean, process. But they are there working with the president left to go free. So if Nana wants to help his people and he, he don't know the way, they should rather come together, fix the problem and help the people. We will not give money to them to come and fix road. If they not give them the money, they will share the money. We are all right. in this country. So thank, thank you very much, George. Thank, thank you very much, George. Bring the contract. Thank you very much, George. Uh, let's move on and speak to our very final caller. Uh, it's in Ken. Ken, welcome and good morning. Good morning, David. I hope you're doing well. And, um, good morning to Liam Rekutu. Um, David, you see, uh, if not today, I never knew the NADMO director or so can come here and say our uh, failing water body is something evil. When you look at our, uh, between, let me say, uh, between the Siyase and Anita, is this water body that somebody, the NADMO people watch somebody to fill that place and put up a building. They never complain. He has never complained about it. Here is a case that somebody is trying to develop his community and you are there fighting with that person as if he has done or he's doing something wrong. Look, um, it baffled me when some people want us to call them honorable. Just that they don't even understand the meaning of honorable. Look, somebody comes to you, seek permission, help him with um, excavators to do dredging. That is not even his responsibility. But he asked for you to help him drag the water, the, the, the water body. You refuse him. Now you are questioning him that, what did you use the sun for? Look, David, sometimes I, some words are not permitted to be said on air. I would have used that word on him. Monday, we need him on, on, on board. You come there, we have a lot of questions for him. It just, uh, um, it's unfortunate that the, the, the chief have a good intention. I've been there before. All right. Well, thank you very much. And uh, like I said, we're going to have, you know, a meeting after the conversation like we always do. 
um, I know that when I spoke to Akonia 